Welcome back to Astro Playground. I wanted to take a, a few minutes to discuss a, a product uh, update that we are um, uh, utilizing here in the, uh, the studio. Um, we've been having a significant uh, issue uh, with off-axis guiding. And um, to that end, uh, we, I've decided to, um, to forego the ZWO um, off-axis guider that we've been using um, and go with a, uh, an entirely new product. Um, I am absolutely over the moon um, with this product and I'm very excited to, uh, to show it to uh, my viewers um, and those that are definitely into the, um, the world of uh, deep sky imaging, especially at long focal lengths with, uh, with off-axis guiders. Uh, this particular product is Hands down, uh, it is the best off-axis guider I think is on the market right now. Um, and I am very excited to be able to integrate it into our system. Um, we are still a few weeks out from doing that because there are some uh, adapters that are coming uh, from another company, Precise Parts, uh, that will allow me to uh, utilize this, um, uh, this new uh, off-axis guider with uh, the, the, the current system. Um, however, without further ado, I want to just go ahead and get into uh, what, what we've got. Um, this is uh, from Farpoint Astro. Um, it's uh, uh, optical solutions. Um, and uh, for those of you that are interested in uh, discussing this uh, with one of them, uh, you should definitely seek out Pete uh, at uh, Farpoint. Um, he is a uh, hands down, the, uh, the foremost expert in this. Um, he has helped me out a great deal, um, and uh, uh, through, his, uh, through his guidance, uh, I think we've, we've, uh, we've hit on uh, an absolute gold mine here. So um, uh, enough fluff, let me just show you what we're talking about. Uh, a couple things, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare what we have here with what we're currently using, and I think you'll see what we're talking about. So. Um, this here is the uh, what they call their MOAG, M-O-A-G. It stands for Monster Off-Axis Guider. Um, and as you can see, it does live up to its name. Uh, I'm going to have some close-up videos of this uh, as well. Um, but the, uh, the unit itself is, is just monstrous. Um, one of the things that, uh, that I want to point out um, is the construction of this unit. Um, it comes in at, the whole unit comes in at just shy of a pound, all right? Uh, within a few grams, it's just shy of a pound. Um, and it has, it's going to have uh, some adapters that will go with it. Um, and the, uh, the, the subsequent, uh, the, the, uh, the, the relevant uh, connectors, all of the, um, uh, the, adapters uh, from pre precise parts, which will allow it to mate to the, uh, um, the reducer, the focal reducer that we have, and the camera, all right? Um, what, uh, and again, this is, it's very, it's very difficult to see uh, the quality of this. I'm gonna try to get some close-up pictures of this. This is milled billet aluminum, <laughs> and it, it, it is far and away uh, superior to anything that we've used before. Now, the, the stuff that we've had in the past has been cast, um, and this is a, a, a huge improvement. Um, the helix focuser is uh, um, very sensitive, um, and it has a, a travel of 10 millimeters, a full travel of 10 millimeters, which is uh, plenty. Um, it's got a nice deep uh, well to accept the uh, to accept the camera, uh, and the, the camera that is recommended for this is uh, something comparable to or the exact fit to the one that I use now, which is a ZWO 174 Mini. Um, huge sensor on that, and that um, that camera will meet up made up with the the prism that is on this. And I wish uh, I hope that you can see the the prism that they have on this unit. It is. A, an enormous piece of glass uh, it, for a prism. I mean, uh, it measures 12.4 millimeters square on a side, um, and it is just a monster. Um, one of the big problems that I was having at sitting at 
100 millimeter, 27, 37 exactly, millimeters, is that I wasn't able to get a, a, a lot of stars in the field of view through the off-axis guider. This will not be a problem with this prism. <laughs> uh, this thing is just monstrous. Um, very excited to be able to use this. Um, the uh, uh, and, and there, there are a couple of things that, that come with um, this this unit. Uh, and one of the things that I uh, that we're doing is full, running a full Astrodon um, filter set. Uh, the LRGB um, 36 millimeters and the three nanometer narrowband set. Um, that that three nanometer narrow narrowband set, uh, along with the LRGB, equals ten. Fil I'm sorry, seven filters, um, and Pete set me up with uh, a, a set of these these filter sliders, um, which are also billeted aluminum, um, uh, milled billeted aluminum, and the um, the the filter sits right in there, and it is held in place with these gaskets. Um, and what's really nice is that each one of these will have its own filter case. So you'll be able to take a small little sticker and, uh, you know, set on it, um, and write down on it, uh, you know, which, which filter it is. The LRGB, the, the, the hydrogen alpha, the, uh, the sulfur, the oxygen, doesn't matter what it is. Right? And what's really nice about these is that, and I, I opted to go with something that wasn't automated. Um, as far as a filter wheel. I like this idea. I have something similar to this in my terrestrial landscape work uh, through Wine Country Camera, and they use a very similar system to this. Um, but uh, this, this whole unit, it basically just slides in place like this and snaps into place. And it's <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Right? It, it is it is a positive lock system, and and it will hold in each so each one. So you, yes, you're going to have to you're going to have to manually switch filters. But if you're not remote, it doesn't really matter all that much. And I really like the idea uh, of of being able to slide these in and out and and secure them in place. And they it has these little ball bearing. Um, uh, friction mounts, uh, spring-loaded ball bearing friction mounts that basically clip into the mount, providing a positive lock. Um, and it's just it, it's just made incredibly well. Um, it, it very tight, very very tight tolerances, um, and that is going to that this this is going to fix all of the issues. This is definitely going to fix all of the issues. Um, absolutely, am in love with this off-axis guider. Um, the case that comes with is a nice closed foam uh, case, um, sealed, uh, it's got gasketed, uh, it's got a nice rubber gasket around it. Um, you could probably throw a desiccant pad in there, a uh, small desiccant pad, and close it up and it's, it's uh, moisture, uh, airtight, moisture, um, you know, tight, uh, and, you know, a full case for, for your entire set of filters. All seven uh, will fit right here. Um, the case was... Uh, the case came with this, and uh, that thank you, Pete, for this. Um, very, very much appreciated. Um, and uh, uh, it, it, it says right on it: it floats in water. It's waterproof, crush resistant, molded tie-down loops, um, the whole nine. So it will protect your investment in your filters, especially if you're running something like Astrodons, um, you know, and you want something to be able to protect those filters. This will definitely do it. Um, so. Uh, I wanted just to, uh, you know, a couple of quick things about the uh, um, the MOAG. If you go on to farpointastro.com, you can learn all about it. It's um, up under their, uh, their section in um, accessories down on off-axis guiders in their menu. All right? And you can learn about it, the MOAG. Um, this this particular filter drawer, um, it has a, uh, a back focus consumption, 32 millimeters. Uh, the pickoff prism, as I said, is 12.4 millimeters on a side. It's just monstrous. <laughs> All right. Um, it has the helical focuser, 10 millimeters, um, and the total back focus is 35.125 millimeters. So, um, uh, you know, this it, it is currently available. They have them in stock uh, if you're looking for uh, a filter drawer. Uh, excuse me, a fil um, a uh, 
Uh, an off-axis guider with filter slider in it. They also make a version of this without the filter slider, right? So if you want to use a filter wheel, you can do that. Um, it will accept a filter wheel. Um, you can have uh, uh, adapters made for anything that you need from Precise Parts. Um, they can get it to work. Um, and it'll, it'll be a custom fit to your particular rig. Uh, you know, I opted for the filter slider. I, I am just absolutely in love with this idea. I, I love the idea of just changing out the filters manually. Um, uh, too much automation. <laughs> uh, you know, it can, it, I think it takes away, unless you need the automation where you're at a remote, you know, um, a remote observatory, you know, hundreds of miles from where you're, 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 you're capturing from, um, that, that's different. But when my scope is in the driveway 50 feet from me, there's absolutely no reason why I can't walk out there and just swap a slider out. It, it just, easily and it keeps me engaged with the whole process um, so anyway I wanted to I wanted to take a second and just compare to the one that I had uh, the one that I'm, that I was, I'm currently using this is the ZWO and I, I have I've opted not to take the camera out of it yet this is the 174 min, uh, excuse me the 174 mini that I've been using um, helix focuser with the uh, um, the, the, the prism. And as you can see, I, it's very difficult to see this. Um, I'm, I'm probably will get a, uh, a much closer view. The prism on this unit is half the size of this unit by, you know, easily, um, in, in, you know, uh, in area, right? Uh, and if you look at the two side by side, there is, <laughs> there is no comparison. I mean, there is no comparison. It, 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 it is just an absolutely phenomenal unit, this uh, MOAG. Um, it is beefy, it's solid, uh, has a built-in filter slider, you know, if you want that particular version. Um, and in comparison to the ZWO, uh, I think it's far and away a superior product. Hands down, superior product. Um, and so looking forward to uh, experiencing what these, what this can do versus this. I was having a devil of a time trying to get this uh, to work correctly. Um, capturing stars, it just was not working um, to the, 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 what I needed to do at that long focal length. This is not going to be a problem. Um, and so excited about that. So. Uh, just a, a quick hit, a quick product uh, review. Um, there are some other things that, that come with, uh, some incidentals um, that come with the, uh, the unit. Um, there are, uh, you know, there's a, a, a bag of, of spare parts and, and, and other things to, you know, to make life easier. Uh, Allen wrenches and, and extra bolts and so on and so forth, all right, um, uh, you know, that you can set up. And it looks like to increase or decrease the, uh, the, the depth, if you will, of the stock on the on the prism right, right there. Uh, it also has um, a, uh, a replacement for the helix focuser if you don't want, I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to use the helix focuser, um, but it, it is available if you need it, uh, then that will just thread in place. Um, other than that, this is the, this is the unit, uh, the MOAG. Uh, so excited uh, to get this uh, up and running and installed. Um, uh, we're, we're a few weeks out yet from Precise Parts to get the, the adapters, uh, both front and back from this. Um, but once we do, we'll, we'll, I'll have a, another video uh, to showcase uh, this, uh, the installation on the C14 um, as far as it relates to uh, this unit and moving forward with off-axis guiding at another level. <laughs> and uh, I... I, I I'm just very excited about uh, this unit. Um, hands down, far and away, uh, the, the best uh, OAG, I think, on the market right now. So with that, um, I uh, wanted to uh, uh, encourage you to get out. Uh, spring is sprung here in upstate New York, <laughs> and uh, it, it's just been absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, we're, we're so looking forward to uh, galaxy season. I'm hoping to actually catch the tail end of galaxy season. Um, uh, once uh, once we get the, the rig fully up and running um, and we'll have more product videos coming up uh, as uh, time goes on. Uh, so from Astro Playground, uh, I wish you good health, uh, clear skies and uh, keep looking up, you know, as you're uh, you know, looking to the stars and in, keep in, being inspired. So bye for now.